behalf okay uh, on behalf of the Egyptian Cultural and Educational uh, Bureau in Spain known as uh, El Instituto Egipcio de Estudios Islamicos uh, it's my pleasure to welcome you uh, uh, to this academic and educational uh, event. Uh, please let me introduce myself. I'm Rasha Ismail, uh, Cultural Council of Egypt and Head of uh, Student Submission in uh, Spain. We are pleased uh, to host this meeting with the CDM, Central Department of Missions uh, in Egypt to run a series of webinars uh, to introduce key uh, Spanish universities to Egyptian staff and faculty members who are aiming to continue their higher education abroad. Uh, as a former student uh, and a graduate of uh, one of the Spanish universities, uh, I think that we need to know more about the Spanish uh, um, education system uh, as it's one of the most important system in the majority of the ranking um, and this is uh, in the world nowadays. Uh, a greater effort must, must be exerted to facilitate mutual cooperation and bilateral approximation among our institution in, uh, institutions, in this case, the Ministry of Higher Education of Egypt and each of the Spanish universities. This is our second meeting with uh, one of the Spanish universities. In this case, we are uh, uh, pleased to, uh, to welcome our colleagues uh, of uh, Universidad Alcalá de Henares, uh, ranked as um, between two, uh, um, 215 and 300, uh, uh, according to the QS World Universities. Uh, please, um, this is our third meeting. This is my third meeting with my colleagues of uh, uh, Universidad Alcalá de Henares. The first meeting uh, was held in um, um, April, uh, 7th of April, in uh, the campus of uh, the Universidad Alcalá de Henares. Uh, so the second meeting was held online in July the 9th. And this is our third. Uh, we are uh, very pleased to, uh, to welcome our students. Um, please let me welcome um, Professor Dr. Julio Caniero, a Vice President of the Relation of International Relations, uh, and uh, the Professor Dr. Lorena Silos, a Coordinator of uh, International Promotion. And let me please um, welcome Mr. Hisham Mustafa, General Director and Acad uh, of Academic Supervision Department. Um, Professor Julio, please, uh, the floor is yours, please. Okay, so Go thank ahead. you so much. Thank you so much. First of all, I would like to say thank you to uh, Dr. Uh, Ismail, uh, Rasha Ismail. It's, it's a pleasure to work with, with you and your, and your team. And I would also like to, to say thank you to the uh, Egyptian embassy for setting up this, uh, this meeting with the ministry in, in Egypt. And also, I would like to say thank you to Mr. Uh, Ahmed uh, Hisham, Hisham for, for uh, this possibility of presenting our university to uh, potential uh, Egyptian students who would like to uh, come and study and get a, uh, a master's degree or a doctoral program degree in, in our uh, university. So it is a pleasure. Uh, on behalf of the, of, of the, the University of Alcalá, it's a pleasure. It's always a pleasure to meet uh, future students and to collaborate with the Egyptian uh, embassy. Um, for my presentation, I would like to share my screen, but I don't know if I'm uh, okay. Yeah, uh, let me. I don't know if you can see it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So it's it's, it's working. Okay, um, I would like to introduce then the, the University of Alcala. I'll try to do it uh, brief, uh, really briefly. And afterwards, if you have any questions, because my colleague uh, Lorena Silos, Dr. Silos, she is also presenting uh, a part of the, 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 the issues that, we'll, that we would like to share with you. Uh, so if we have time, we would uh, answer your questions at the end of our, our uh, presentations. Okay, where, the first thing we have to know is where we are located. So we are located in Madrid, uh, very, very close to, uh, we're in the region of Madrid, in the city of Alcalá de Henares. Alcalá de Henares is a, is a, is a, 
city that is very, very close to the, the, the city of Madrid. You know that Madrid is the largest political, economic, and cultural center uh, in, in Spain. Uh, we are only 28 kilometers uh, away from, from the, the center of, of Madrid, Madrid downtown. And it takes only by, by bus or by train, it takes about 20 minutes. Uh, so, sorry, it's 35, uh, 45 minutes, depending on the traffic from Alcala to uh, downtown uh, Madrid. But we are, very also, we are also very, very close to uh, the uh, international airport. Um, as a joke, as I always say that we are very, we are only two hours away from uh, Paris, two hours away from uh, Rome, uh, Berlin. <laughs> so the, the main cities, the main cities in uh, in Europe are very, very close to the, the University of Alcala because we are very close, as I say, uh, only 15, 20 minutes away by bus from the international airport. And, the city of Alcalá is a mid-side mid uh, town in, in Spain. And as such, we, it has a mid-side university, uh, which is the University of Alcalá, but with a lively student life. It's a, it's, a, it's a city, or as I always say, sometimes you don't know if you have a city with a university or a university with a city. Um, how our campuses are distributed? Well, they are distributed among, uh, the, the university is distributed among the three campuses. Uh, we have the historical campus, which is the, in which you can find social sciences in the humanities and arts and humanities. We also have the scientific technological campus, which is uh, located in the outskirts of the, the city of uh, Alcala, but it's very, very close to the, to the downtown of our city. It's only uh, 15 minutes away by bus or 20 minutes walking from uh, the, the, the Alcalá's downtown. And we also have uh, um, another campus in Guadalajara. Guadalajara is located in a different region in Castilla-La Mancha, which is very close to uh, Alcalá as well. It's only 30 minutes away from uh, Alcalá's downtown by car or by bus. Uh, the University of Alcala is the uh, is the only university in Spain that has two camp that has campuses in two different uh, regions or autonomous regions as the country is uh, divided. What about our history and tradition? Well, we are one of the oldest universities in, in Spain and also in, in Europe. It was first, uh, the, the general studies were established by King Sancho IV in 1293. Um, and, but the, the real foundation of our university was in 1499 under Cardinal Cisneros. So as I say, we are a very, very old university, but with very old buildings, as you can see from the pictures. But at the same time, we are a very modern university because the, the university was closed down in the uh, 19th century, in the early 19th century. The, um, uh, the studies were taken to the to Madrid to the Central University of Madrid that later evolved into the Complutense University, but uh, our university was uh, reopened in 1977 and has been functioning since then. So the, the the original name of our university was Universidad Complutense, but they took uh, they kept the the name, but we retained the historical buildings. Uh, for that, for those historical buildings, uh, we, in 1998, UNESCO declared uh, the University of Alcala one of the six universities in the world distinguished as a World Heritage Site for its impressive architecture and history. Um, the University of Alcala is world famous for the defense and promotion of a Spanish language that it makes, and for that reason, every year, uh, the, the, the Spanish Ministry of Education uh, promotes the Cervantes Prize, which is an award that recognized uh, the, one of the most important writers of the Spanish speaking world. And this uh, prize is awarded by His Majesty the King of Spain, who comes to the University of Alcala, as you can see in this image, uh, uh, comes to the University of Alcala to award 
this, uh, this prize to one of these uh, writers. And it's, uh, it's a fabulous uh, ceremony and probably is one of the most important days in our uh, university, in our academic year. Um, what about the facts and figures? Well, um, we, as I said, we are a mid-site university. We have uh, around or more than 16,000 uh, undergraduate uh, students and around 12,000 uh, postgraduate study, uh, postgraduate students and live learning uh, students. Uh, in, in the overall, we are around, 20, well, the, the, the numbers varies from 26 to 29, thousand students depending on the academic year. Um, and the distribution by gender is that 60% of our students are female and 40% of our students are male. Uh, we have uh, over 2000 uh, professors and, and researchers in the, in, the, in the university and the administrative staff is made up of around 800. Uh, people. Okay. As I said, this is a, 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 a not very big university, but it, it has a normal size for uh, a Spanish university. If we, you compare it, for instance, to the University of Barcelona or to the Univer to Universidad Complutense, which Russia knows very well, well, those are huge universities with a huge amount of, of uh, students. The advantage of becoming uh, a student uh, at the University of Alcala is that we have a more personal approach to our uh, students. It's more familiar in a sense. What about the, the programs? We have 46 undergrad, undergraduate uh, degrees. We have 60 research master programs, 30 PhD uh, programs, and 331 lifelong learning programs. And I would like to emphasize that we also have five associated, associated hospitals. It's one of the universities with uh, the, one of the largest numbers of associated hospitals. We have hospitals here in Alcala, in Madrid, and also in Guadalajara University Hospitals. And we have two science, science parks, okay, which makes uh, uh, the university very well technologically developed. Uh, the University of Alcala is, is placed in an area that is known as the uh, Corredor de Lenares. In English, it would be the Lenares Corridor. The Lenares is a river, and it, it comes from it goes from uh, Madrid to the city of Guadalajara. This is known as uh, the, cor uh, the Lenares Corridor, and is full of companies and uh, enterprises. For that reason, for that reason, the, the, the University of Alcala has over three thousand agreements with local firms and for internship opportunity for our students. This is also an advantage, an advantage for being a mid-site uh, university. And what about the, the position in, in the ranks? Well, uh, we are working a lot on becoming one of the best universities in Spain and also uh, in Europe. Uh, we, for instance, we have the maximum score in the QS World University Ranking in such areas uh, like internationalization, teaching, innovation, social commitment, equipment, and infrastructure. We are also uh, uh, ranked number one as the most transparently managed university in Spain in terms of the information available on our webpage, uh, as recognized by Fundación Compromiso y Transparencia. Uh, we are also a leading university in Spain and in the world in terms of climate, climate, uh, clima, climatic change, environmental sustainability, and the en and energy efficiency policies, according to Green Metric. And uh, we are one of the leading European universities in the reception of international students. Um, apart from the possibility of studying at the University of Alcala, we also have uh, Alcaligua, which is the Spanish language center for foreign students. Uh, every year around 1,200 1, students uh, from uh, over 50 different countries come to the University of Alcala just to study Spanish. Uh, um, Alcaligua offers Spanish language, culture and communication uh, in and in class and online teaching. Uh, the courses are designed for different levels of knowledge and, and intensity. 
And we, the Alcalingua also offers uh, courses in Spanish for specific purposes. And finally, and this is important for especially those uh, of, of, of for those students who want to be uh, Spanish teachers. Uh, sorry, uh, teacher, teachers of Spanish. Um, um, the Alcalingua also uh, has certified exams like CLE or DELE that uh, acknowledge that uh, that possibility for for teachers uh, for recognize those teachers of of Spanish. Um, the um, the motto of our university is a university open to the world, and for that reason, uh, uh, this is something that we uh, share is uh, share a lot. Okay, the fact that we are a university that attracts many, many international students. Um, in pre-pandemic years, usually we had around 6,000 international students that came from very different areas. Uh, for instance, from the United States and Canada, 1,140 students uh, were from these uh, areas, uh, almost 2,000 students from Latin America, 100 and uh, 1,500 um, uh, students from Asia and, uh, and, and from Europe, uh, also 1,600 uh, and from Africa. This is one of the, the tasks that we have to, to emphasize. And that's why I think this meeting with uh, the, the, the uh, potential Egyptian students is important. Only 140 uh, students came from uh, Africa. Uh, I'm not going to, to, to talk about the uh, master degrees and the dissertation research because that's something that uh, Dr. Lorena Silos is going to do, to do in, in, in a moment. Uh, but we offer six master degrees taught completely in English. And this is also very important uh, dissertation research in English in all fields of study is possible. So it doesn't matter we, what is your field, if you want to pursue a PhD uh, uh, degree at the University of Alcala, you don't need to know Spanish, you can do it in English. And now I don't know if I will, I will be able to, uh, to share a video, a presentation that we have prepared from uh, from the uh, Vice Presidency for International Relationships. It's, it's a very brief uh, 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 video, it's a motivation video for you guys to, uh, to apply to the University of uh, Alcala. So let's see if it works. I don't know, can you see it? No? Okay, sorry. Uh, one second. I live here in Madrid and I have particularly chose. Okay, so hold on because I believe I should share my screen once again. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, now I'm lost. <laughs> I know. Can you listen to me? Can you listen to me? Yes, we can okay. listen. Okay, okay. Uh, let me, now I have to, sh to share my screen once again. Uh, let me see if I can do it. Uh, okay, all right. Okay, just one second, please. Once again, share. Now? Yes, now it's working. Okay. So I live here in Madrid and I have particularly chosen Alcala due to its size. So for example, Alcala is a little bit higher, so everyone is a family. You're not in a classroom where there are hundreds and hundreds of students and a different number.
the distances are very small. I can go to university five minutes and then I can go to Madrid by bus in 30 minutes or by train in 35 minutes. So it's very nice because everything is quite close. La ciudad en sí es muy universitaria y al final hay muy buen ambiente universitario, no solo de pasárselo bien, sino también de estudio. So the chat and the relationship between the university and yourself, it is as a family. Everybody gets to know everyone. Uh, you have plenty of social and cultural activities that you may do. A lot of plays, uh, a lot of films, concerts, and that's great. For example, I love going to the future here. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know much about cultural activities because I'm not really into them, but for example, sports, there are many of them. The, in the years I've been here, I've done tennis, boxing, now I'm in Kung Fu, it's very close to Alcala. Los recursos que utilizamos, al menos eh, la carrera que he estudiado, eh, son muy buenos, tanto a nivel de material como el profesorado de las, las clases que imparte. You have a quite small relationship with your professors, so they can assist you quite better than compared, I think, to other universities. The teacher, it's very close to the students and you can ask them for help. And not only in an academic way, but also in a personal way. So that's great because sometimes you have trouble and you need to talk to someone and they are there for you. La residencia te, te da la oportunidad de convivir con gente internacional y para mí esa es una experiencia inolvidable que nunca puedo olvidar en, en mi vida. Bueno, creo que ellos quieren no solo aprender, sino tener un buen tiempo. Es una buena opción. Bienvenidos a la Universidad de Alcalá. Welcome to the University of Alcalá, a university open to the world. Okay. Uh, I think that that's all on my part. So thank you. Thank you so much for, for uh, setting up, uh, setting up uh, uh, this, this meeting once again. And now I give the floor, uh, Rajashi, if you don't mind, uh, to Professor uh, Lorena Silos, who will it's be pleasure. talking about the, the, the master's and the doctoral program. So the, Lorena, you. the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Julio. And I would like to thank you as well, uh, Professor Rasha Ishmael and Mr. Uh, Hisham for, for this invitation and to give us the opportunity to present the, the University Alcala to to you uh, today. So I'm going to see if I can work this out and share my screen with you. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Can you, I think Perfect. I jumped a bit. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm going to, to try to give you a, an overview of um, our postgraduate studies. I'm going to start with the master's degrees and then I will just um, explain briefly uh, what our doctoral school looks like. Um, so the University of Alcalá has a very wide range of master's degrees. I mean, uh, Professor Cañeros just mentioned in his uh, introduction, we have 60 master's program in all areas of knowledge. I mean, no matter if you want to, to um, conduct research in, in, the, in the area of arts and humanities or social sciences or sciences or ar architecture or engineering, we do have a master's program uh, ready for you, so to say. 
And our offer is updated um, at a regular pace. I mean, long-standing master's degrees coexist with more recent programs, for example, in order to respond to, to, to the needs of society. For example, if I think of the realm of computer science, every year, almost every month, uh, new developments are made so that we need to, to, to have a, a really updated offer on, on research and, and education as well. And the University of Alcalá is very committed to, to offering um, its students really updated, uh, updated, updated knowledge and, and content of, of the several fields um, it covers. Every program is different, of course, every area has its um, particularities and features, but um, at the University of Alcala, we're committed to giving our students really um, the choice of praxis and theory so that the students can apply the theoretical knowledge they acquire in the classroom in a more practical context, for example, in a company, or if you're studying uh, to become a teacher uh, of English as a foreign language, in a school. Uh, all our master's degrees um, enable our students to pursue a PhD. So if you think uh, you would like to, to conduct research, to pursue an academic career, a master's degrees at our university would be the first stone to follow uh, this path, this academic path. And as uh, Professor Cañero just said, six of our master's degrees are entirely taught in English. And I'm going to introduce each of them briefly. I mean, there's lots of text there. I'm just going to summarize it a bit for you so that it doesn't um, get too, too boring or too monotonous. I'm going to start with the master's offered at the Faculty of Arts. Um, we offer uh, five masters in English at this faculty. Two of them are main um, are meant to to be aim um, are meant to be like the first stone for you to conduct research in in the field of literature, and three of them enable you professionally. So to say, for example, this first one, um, the Master of Arts in Teaching English as a Foreign Language, will enable you to become a teacher of English in a school or in a school of languages. It's a one year master degrees. It has uh, only 60 uh, ECTS and it has two different tracks. Uh, one track would help you develop the skills for teaching English in a general context, whereas the second track will enable you to teach English in bilingual schools based on uh, CLEAL methodology. I don't know if you're familiar with this. This is contact len content, content language integrated uh, learning so that pupils in school learn both English language and different content, content at the same time. So for example, uh, natural science is taught in English. So this master will, will enable you to be able to carry out a lesson of, let's say, biology in English so that your students will uh, learn both English and biology or sciences in general at the same time. So this master will provide uh, you or trainee teachers with tools to plan your lessons, to assess learners and to create your own teaching materials, which I think it's very important um, to have this uh, initiative, know when you're a teacher, to be able to, 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 to see what are your students' needs and to create materials that are adapted uh, for them. Uh, this master will always make you familiar with the most innovative uh, methodologies in education and with linguistic and pedagogical research. And it will also uh, help you develop writing skills to be able to cope uh, with problems related to language uh, teaching. With regards, I was saying before, we, have, we offer two masters which will uh, help you to set the first stone if you want to pursue an academic career. This would be the first one, Master of Arts in Research in Contemporary Anglophone and Hispanic Literatures. And the second one is the Master of Arts in North American Studies. They're both one year. Uh, degree and their objective is basically the same is to help you to provide you with the methodological and theoretical tools to uh, be able to to read and understand the context in which literature literature is created i mean both in the anglosphere 
or in the Spanish sphere, so to say. And especially the master in North American studies um, is more um, also builds analytical skills which help you uh, to understand uh, the social political uh, realm of, of North America. Um, also offered by the Faculty of Arts um, are two masters in interpreting and translation. The first one is a conference interpreting, um, business oriented conference interpreting. So it's not just general conference interpreting, but more um, related to the field of business. Um, it is a one year master's degree, so 60 ECTS, and its objective is to train specialists in conference interpreting in the field of business. So it is also a master that will help you attain a profession in the field of interpreting. Yeah, so those are the skills um, listed are the skills that you will develop uh, if you uh, take on the master. So professional communication and um, all the techniques will be, uh, the master works with all the different interpreting techniques, so bilateral, consecutive, simultaneous or, or whisper, whispered translation. And they help you. We have um, recently opened interpreting booths uh, at the faculty. So you're really uh, sit in the booth and you're set into the situation that you have to interpret a conference. So it's very, it's very um, real life master. So students are really going through all the, the pressure and the, and the process of interpreting a conference when, when doing the masters. I think they're all very satisfied when they finish it. And then we also have in the realm of translation, the Master uh, of Arts in Intercultural and Communication, Interpretation and Translation within the public services. This master is offered in three different versions, Arabic Spanish, English Spanish and Chinese Spanish. Yeah, they are all the same. And the main objective of the master is to train interpreters and translators to work in a very specific field, which is the field of um, public uh, public services. For example, a hospital, uh, working with the police, uh, working in an educational institution. So to to be able to to act as a linguistic and cultural liaison for people that don't speak Spanish as well and that need to use this public services, for example, in a hospital, to be able to, um, to allow a patient interact with the doctor if the patient does not speak uh, Spanish. And as I said, the master is offered in Arabic Spanish, I mean, working with this pair of languages, English Spanish, and also Chinese Spanish. In the Faculty of um, Economics, we offer two master's degrees in English. The first one is a, a master in International Business Administration, so an MBA. It is an 18 month master's degree, so one year and a half. And this master has the possibility of, if you, if you take on this master, you will have the possibility of attaining a double degree with the University of Strasbourg in France. So you will end up having two different titles, one title from the University of Alcalá and a title from the University of Strasbourg. Its objectives, if you know what an MBA is, um, they are the general objectives, professional development within a company or building your, your own business and to enhance the development of analytical and leadership skills with which any manager or CEO will, will need um, in order to pursue a career in the business uh, field. The master has a very international and global approach and uh, it um, uses eminently practical and interactive methodologies that seek to develop uh, critical thinking. I mean, it's very practical as well. Uh, you're taken to different companies and set in different situations. Uh, they work with case studies. So it's very practical, very interactive uh, methodology. And last but not least, because we're very proud of this uh, master's program, uh, the Master of Arts in Banking and Finance. It's also a one year master's degree also offers the possibility of attaining a double degree with the University of Strasbourg. 
And the program has been ranked as one of the top financial masters uh, in Spain on several occasions, just not once in a blue moon, but regularly it has been ranked as one of the best financial masters in Spain. Uh, the master has a very international and multicultural studentship, so that the setting, the, the, the atmosphere in the classroom is very international, very interactive as well. And as most of the of the masters, um, as you could have seen, it, it has a very strong practical focus in order to, to help you develop and become really uh, the new generation of finance analysts that, that the world uh, needs. Well, this was the mainly the overview of the of the six uh, master programs that we offer in English. Uh, so to summarize, we offer five uh, master's degrees in the Faculty of Arts. So to say three of them will enable you to pursue a career, a professional career, uh, the master uh, for teachers of English as a foreign language the business uh, oriented conference uh, interpreting and the intercultural communication and translation within the public services and then these two masters offered by the by the faculty of economics the mba and the master in banking and finance these two are um, completely taught in english and and will offer you all you search for, I mean, if you're looking for, for a master in these uh, specific fields. And just uh, very briefly to our doctoral school, who has a very long tradition, but it's not, uh, Professor Cañero was also mentioning how uh, the University of Alcalá compares to, to these huge monsters as the monsters in, in a very positive sense, of course. Um, I, I've studied myself in the, in the Universidad Complutense and also in the University of Barcelona, but um, that in the University of Alcalá, you really feel at home. I mean, it's not, it's not one of these huge buildings with thousands of students all coming at the same time to the same place, but it's a place where really there is a, a very family and very close um, contact with, between students and, and, and staff. So it's really, it, it really is a, a very, a, I don't know, a very quaint, uh, friendly atmosphere. I, I can tell you because I come from outside, so I can, I can see the differences. And our doctoral school is also a bit like that. It's, it's, it offers, um, as Professor Cañero mentioned before, 30 um, doctoral programs in all areas of knowledge. Um, so as I said before, uh, no matter if you want to, to conduct uh, research in the field of uh, arts and humanities, sciences, social and legal sciences, health sciences, or engineering and architecture, I mean, there is, there is a, 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 a program for you uh, at the University of Alcalá. I also have to say that we have a very, uh, very much committed staff, that the groups are very small, that you get to, to really, uh, you get to know your, your, your supervisor, the, the person, the, the professor you're working with. There is a very one-to-one -one relationship, and I think um, that is very important when one is uh, conducting research. Um, the data also speaks for itself, I believe. I mean, um, our employability, I have to say, uh, it's very, very good. Uh, if you look at the period 2015-2019, almost 90% of our PhD students have found a position, uh, which it's, it's really an impressive um, result, mostly in universities and multinational companies after finishing up their, their doctoral studies. Also, a very satisfactory, I think, uh, result is that 88% of our PhD students would choose the University of Alcalá again, were they to uh, start from, from bottom up uh, their, their PhD again. I mean, if they were to, to do a PhD again, they would choose the University of Alcalá. I think, I think that is a, that's very satisfactory and, and really, it, it makes us uh, proud of ourselves. Also, if you were to come to, to our university to, to pursue an, an academic career, to, to conduct research uh, in our doctoral school, you could uh, and should 
apply for the Maria de Guzman Scholarship. This is a grant that is offered to, to students at the University of Alcala, and it covers students' accommodation so that you wouldn't have to pay or would have to pay very little to, to stay in, in one of our re halls of residence. And uh, this, um, this is basically all I wanted to say, but uh, please do not hesitate to make uh, any questions now, or if you just want to take note of that email address, this is our generic email address, uh, noerasmus.incoming at uah.es. And you can say you've been um, at this webinar and that you would like to, to contact me, and I would be very happy to give you all the information and to to talk to you, to discuss all the doubts you, you may have. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Julio, Professor uh, Lorena, for this uh, introduction. Uh, um, I don't know if any of the attendees have, uh, have any question. I, uh, I can't see any question uh, in the chat. Mr. Hisham, would you like to add something or uh, they already know. They, they already know about uh, uh, Priv about uh, about our scholarship uh, uh, system. Uh, but if you want to to give them uh, a brief, go ahead, please. Uh, yes. If, uh, if, thank you very if, much. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the no problem. No, that's fine. Uh, okay. Uh, if I may, just share the uh, the screen with you. Yeah. Is it clear now? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead, okay. please. Yes. Uh, first of all, I appreciate uh, your presentation, Dr. Fulio and Dr. Lorena, uh, for very clear uh, problems that you uh, specified for our uh, participants. However, uh, I'd like to give you a quick um, chance on the scholarship that we are providing from Central Department of Mission, Ministry of Higher Education. So when our students or uh, one of our applicants apply to the university, you know that uh, what the scholarship is covering. So uh, Central Department of Mission is the main central department that uh, really um, uh, is taking care of all scholarship presented by the Egyptian government as well as the grants uh, given uh, from other countries. Uh, we, we announced twice um, annually and give uh, a very big budget and very uh, rich budget really for uh, sending or dispatching our students uh, abroad. Uh, lately, uh, with, uh, with Dr. Rasha, uh, she promoted a lot of the uh, 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 Spanish uh, universities to our colleagues and our uh, students and uh, currently we are applying uh, new types of scholarships. So the main scholarships that we are providing as Ministry of Higher Education, uh, we're providing a PhD up to four years and we are providing also channel system which is consisting of uh, one year in Egypt in cooperation with uh, one of the uh, public universities or the public research centers. It is only for one year. So it's like a cooperation between uh, two uh, universities. And we are providing also most of trade, which uh, by the way, I just noticed that uh, there is a questions for you. Uh, are you providing uh, both of trade? And I guess that uh, uh, Professor Lorena already explained that uh, you are providing uh, both of trade scholarship. And uh, also uh, we are uh, providing uh, up to two years uh, master degree uh, for our uh, participants. Uh, what our scholarships covering? So for the PhD, we are covering two round trip tickets. We are providing monthly stipend. And of course, we are paying tuition. And of course, we are providing medical health insurance for our participants. And we are giving them one month paid leave uh, during uh, the PhD duration. 
course, we are giving them also book allowance and clothes allowance. And, and we are providing the same for the supervisors, the joint supervision uh, students, uh, except that they are having just 15 days paid leave uh, uh, during the year they are having. And for the master degree, also we are providing one trip ticket and the monthly stipend, research fees, uh, or tuition, medical insurance, and of course, 15 days uh, paid leave, and book allowance and clothing allowance. Also, of faith, we are just providing the round trip tickets, monthly stipend, and of course, medical uh, insurance coverage. Unfortunately, we cannot provide any research fees uh, for the both of them. However, we are providing uh, now, if there is a new type of training, uh, we are providing a lot of programs for the undergraduate, uh, especially the training for short term, uh, especially in the, uh, the, the, the measures that really are very interested to uh, the Egyptian economic groups. Okay, and the announcement is targeting all this specialty. We are having 10 core uh, speciality is concentrated on energy, water resources, medical and health sciences, agriculture and nutrition science, environment, strategic industry techniques, the information, communication and space technology, education and learning development, investment, trade and transport, social and humanities science and these are the main core uh, i may say uh, majors or the, the specialities that really interested to the egyptian uh, uh, educational uh, committee once we finalize uh, the uh, the uh, announcement and uh, get the results by the way the the current announcement we are having is going to end by October 17. Once we finish the, uh, the results and uh, we deliver it to the ACP or uh, Dr. Rasha. So uh, she started the uh, negotiation with the universities, with the, uh, with the hosting university uh, to get the requirements, the requirements for the final acceptance. Once the final acceptance already uh, is, uh, and is delivered to CDM, Central Department of Mission. We go ahead with uh, three, three travel procedures to dispatch our participants. Such, uh, such a procedure could take up to three months. So um, I, I guess that if, if you can give uh, such uh, uh, an idea to, uh, to the professors uh, who are going to receive uh, an Egyptian scholars, that would be much appreciated. Uh, these are the contact information with the uh, Central Department of Mission. And we are having our YouTube channel, uh, which I'm going to, we are going to publish uh, with your uh, permission. Uh, we are going to publish uh, this uh, movie. Uh, so it would be much help for our uh, prospective. Uh, thank you. And uh, I just uh, finished my uh, presentation. So if you have any more questions, uh, I'm welcome to Dr. Rasha. Thank you very much, Mr. Hisham. Um, I can see that, that there is uh, one uh, question for uh, for you, Dr. Can Caniero, uh, from Wa'il Fathi. No, yeah, I don't yeah, know if you uh, can see it. Yeah. I can, I can, ah, I can see it. Well, actually, there are, there are three questions. And I was about if you if you allow me, I, I was about to to answer them. Uh, one of them is about bringing families. Uh, actually, yes, it is possible to bring family uh, with uh, with students, but uh, then probably they'll have to look for accommodation because we don't have family accommodations at the university. They they have to to look for uh, for accommodation outside the university. Uh, dorms. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's that's the reality. That's the reality uh, right now. Okay. 
Uh, the second one is if, uh, uh, about someone, uh, yeah, Shaima Ademosen, who says that, uh, yeah, the, the PhD degree from the UK and looking for an opportunity for the postdoc fellowship. Okay, we haven't presented any postdoc. There are postdoc uh, grants as well. We haven't, we haven't uh, presented them here in, in, in this session, but yeah, there are postdoc uh, um, fellowships, though they do not depend on <laughs> our uh, uh, vice uh, rectorate or vice presidency. It depends on the on the vice presidency for research, yeah, but they do have they do have possibility for foreign students to apply for uh, a postdoc uh, fellowship as well. And we also have a question about uh, specific PAD requirements and the problem of getting an acceptance from professors there. Yeah, that is, that is true. I mean, uh, because PhD programs in Spain do not depend directly, uh, they don't depend uh, fr uh, from the uh, vice president for research or the vice president for international relations. Uh, it depends on a, a board, an academic board a committee that decides which students uh, can enter a given program. It is true that all students have to fulfill uh, basic requirements, a, deg a degree, a master program, and finally, uh, some language certification. And then after those basic requirements have been revised, the, all the information is taken to the academic board or the academic committee of a, every single uh, PhD program. And it's that, pro, that program, uh, sorry, it's that academic board, the one that decides if the students are allowed to be part of the program or, or not. Usually they don't have, or at least they don't try to make it very hard for students if, they, if the students fulfill the basic requirements, but it depends on the avail availability of, uh, of, uh, of supervisors, of PhD supervisors. That sometimes some programs are very much demanded and it's difficult to have uh, a supervisor. So that's why they limit the number of, of students accepted. And it's fair, it's fair enough, I, I think, yeah, uh, the acceptance letter. Uh, it's one of uh, our requirements also uh, to apply for our PhD um, or, uh, or master's uh, um, scholarship. Um, thank you very much. Uh, as Mr. Hisham said, we will uh, post this video on the webpage of the, the Ministry of Higher Education and it will be uh, there to uh, any uh, uh, future or further uh, information. Uh, 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 if any uh, student ha in the future uh, can search it and, uh, and, uh, and see it. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate your interventions, uh, both of you, Dr. Uh, uh, Professor Dr. Julio and Professor Dr. Lorena. Uh, for me, it's, uh, it's okay. Mr. Hisham, uh, do you like to add something or? Well, I appreciate uh, the attendance and uh, sorry about uh... I'm not showing on the camera, but the next time we'll, we'll be sure <laughs> yeah. that the camera is working fine. So no uh, thank you very much. We appreciate uh, uh, your attendance and uh, we are hoping that uh, our students, once they are applied to the university, they could be uh, accepted uh, smoothly. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Sorry. Last uh, question. I think the email posted uh, by you, uh, Professor Lorena, is your uh, personal email. So uh, uh, students students can contact you uh, to if they if they have any question or uh, you can you can give them my personal email if you want. Ah, okay. Or uh, th this email is the it's uh, the email the official email. Uh, that is the, the generic email of the person. That the, the, a person at the at the international team would respond to that email, but they can forward that to me if they if they contact if they write that uh, generic email at the end of the presentation and they say I was I attended a webinar on the twenty eighth of September with Professor Cañero and uh, Dr. Silos. I would very very gladly uh, write back to them and give them all the information they they require. Of course. Thank you very much because I believe that. Uh, 
uh, lots of students uh, in the future will have uh, uh, questions or uh, or something uh, missing to uh, to uh, to know. Thank you very much. I appreciate your intervention. Thank you. Once again, once, once, thank you. once again, thank you so much to to both of you and hope to see many Egyptian students coming to study at the University of Alcalá. Definitely. With and looking pleasure. forward to meeting you, oh. Professor Ishmael, thank you. in Alcalá thank too. You. <laughs> thank you very much. In, in Madrid or in Alcalá de Henares. No, Sorry, next time it thing. will be or in Cairo. <laughs> Cairo. Uh, that, that would be great. That, yeah, Cairo. that would be great. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Have a lovely evening. Bye-bye. You, you too. Bye-bye. Thank you all. Bye -bye.